with all this talk about progressives and pretty much every Democrat claiming to be a progressive, I felt that it would be best to explain what a progressive is. Well, the most basic definition of a progressive is as follows. The support for or advocacy of social reform based on the idea of progress which asserts that advancements in science, technology, economic development, and social organization are vital to the improvement of the human condition. That's it. But that's the basic definition. What about the specifics? Well, more specific policy positions for progressives to stand for came from in the early 20th century during the aptly named Progressive Era. During that time, specific policies for progressives to adhere to started to take form such as the breaking up of monopolies or trust busting, regulating businesses as well as the economy, a progressive income tax where higher earners pay more, helping organize labor via minimum wage and eight hour workday, and women's suffrage. Heck, even some progressives supported the idea of eugenics and prohibition, though those weren't really advocated for as much, and the ones who did, it was kind of iffy if they were progressives at all. Now, since conservatism, an ideology that can be simplified as just keeping things the way they are, and or regressing them to a more traditional area, was associated with the right, progressivism naturally fell on the left side of the political spectrum. The term has had the likes of social democrats, democratic socialists, modern liberals, and of course even today with a lot of neoliberals taking up the progressive mantle. That leads into the question, how do we determine who's a real progressive and who's a faux aggressive? Well, let's analyze arguably the most progressive president we have had, President Roosevelt. No, ironically this is the one that made the term liberal and progressive interchangeable. There we go. Well, we all know about the New Deal, his most ambitious policies were never really enacted. The second Bill of Rights, which stated that every American has the right to a job, a living wage, freedom from monopolies, a home, social security, an education, and quality health care. So wouldn't it be fair to say that someone who doesn't adhere to these policies isn't a progressive? Notable parties that espouse progressivism as its ideology include the Justice Party, the Working Families Party, the Vermont Progressive Party, the Oregon Progressive Party, as well as three previous national progressive parties, and prominent politicians that are verifiably known for their progressivism include former Senator from Wisconsin, Robert M. LaFollette Sr., former Senator and Governor from California, Hiram Johnson, former Ohio Representative, Dennis Kucinich, author and perennial candidate, Upton Sinclair, and of course, the biggest current example being presidential candidate and Senator from Vermont, Bernie Sanders. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell to be notified when a future video of mine comes out. And if you're interested in more political content from me, you can go to my website or follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Quora, or check out my articles on the Independent Political Report.